What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out WWE Top 20 Shocking PG Era Returns. We're going to continue this series on. You guys are enjoying it, showing a lot of love on the views and stuff for this series. So, we're going to check this out, man. Appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Road to 60K, man. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know you want me to continue this series of returns from the different eras. And let's get right into it. Dig it, dig it, suck up. You know I got to hit the move. You got to hit it every time now. Extreme rules. After I beat you. In a steel cage, you're gonna be just like Rick Kennedy! Ah, remember Mr. Kennedy, man. The microphone. Kennedy! Five on five main event tonight. Mr. Kennedy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm challenging any one of those so-called wannabe raw legends. We got some more here tonight. What? I did hire myself a little protection. <laughs> oh, the baddest of the bad. The <laughs> JBL. <laughs> yeah, you are. Oh no. Oh no. Woo! Oh, no. That clothesline from hell. It's always oh, nasty. From hell. <laughs> Say it. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, the, oh, the big show. This is, oh man, this was a, such a good match, dude. This is when the Shield, they were heels at the time. Oh my God. It's cool to see a pop like that for Dustin. I, I always... I do feel like WWE Dev never really gave him the true respect that he deserved. Brother, the most bizarre superstar in He just made the best of what he had. History, gold dust. And gold dust goes right after his brother, Cody Rhodes. Mm -hmm. And there's the real thing right there. The real gold to this daddy, the American dream. This is so great already. And now he's putting a... Awesome. Yes, the man I believe is going to be the king. I got news for you, you're way, way, way too late. Rely on somebody who's going to make their decision the day of SummerSlam, a seventh member of Team WWE. Daniel Bryan. What? Daniel Bryan? This is a huge mistake. Here we go. Here we go. The American Dragon has arrived. Here is number 19. That's crazy the amount of love he's getting. He was getting for this Royal Rumble. But Royal Rumble is always good to sometimes bring back the legends just for the nostalgia purposes. I don't think it should be like that. Like it sh they should take up majority of the spots because I do think the new talent deserve to get their shine in the Royal Rumble to build up their momentum in the future. But it's always cool to have some spots reserved sometimes for the legends. Got the halo music going. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Do it. I love it every time. 
I love it every time. I love it every single time. When you hit the spin of Rooney, man. Look at T, a legend, bro. Be more of us. Uh-huh. Did you... there used to be more of us? I'm getting goosebumps just seeing them in the ring again. What? I love it. I love it, man. Are you ready? I'm getting goosebumps, man. This is my childhood right now. So just send them out already. The light up jacket. <laughs> RVD. You hear that pop? You hear that pop from him? For him? You hear that? I want to say, correct me if I'm wrong, this was right, I think maybe this was right after he had a heart attack. I could be wrong in this. I may be wrong in this. But I do remember, it was, I remember watching the Raw Live where he wasn't there on commentary. Something that happened where he, he suffered a heart attack. Or whatnot, and you know, what I'm saying people were really concerned and scared because that's a that's a real, you know, that's something serious. So I want to say this is him coming back. I could be wrong here, but I want to say this is one of those moments where he finally was able to come back and people showed him love because you know that's that's a scary thing. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you all. I could be wrong. Oh, uh, that's going to be a car wreck. Right? Oh, to a legend, baby, big boy. John Laurinaitis' heart is past money down on Raw. got to love you some Foley, man. He said magic may be in the air tonight. He wants to go to WrestleMania. Baby. Oh, oh, look at that. That's what did he can. And legacy just... Holy You gotta be kidding me! Big Daddy Cole Visa! The former WWE It's it's the way Cole commentating so cringe sometimes. Big Daddy Cole Diesel! Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> I like how he was just laying in position. <laughs> <laughs> That's always funny to me. Of course, it's gotta be in there. It's the rock. Of course, just goosebumps. The rock has come back. I'm getting goosebumps, man. I'm getting goosebumps. And of course, most people didn't think he would ever come back to WWE or even step foot in a WWE ring after, of course, the Montreal situation. I see. It took a long time to get here. 
Look at that. Montreal never forgets. Last time I was here, turned out to be one of the darkest. Thank you very much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Y'all always love an Undertaker return. It's always so epic and so like goosebump inducing. Well, an Undertaker entrance. Just look at the sign. That's all we want. That's all we want. <laughs> and the, the match they had that year was fantastic too. They they had some great great matches, man. <laughs> You're a loser. You know who's gonna come out? The one person that Dub hates the most. You know who's gonna come out? And I think I think this was after WrestleMania when he lost to The Rock. I want to say this was when he lost to The Rock the very first time. I think. I could be wrong. I think this was that the Monday Night Raw when he lost to The Rock the very first time. And then Brock Lesnar comes out. The people's here. He acknowledged that The Rock was the better man at wrestling. Yep, this was. This was. And I would really like to congratulate him on his victory. <laughs> I lost my shit when this happened. Oh my. I lost my the shit. The American Airlines Arena has come unglued. Oh man. Dub would be sick at this clip. He would be sick right now. Holy shit, it's right, bro. At the time. <laughs> a a complexion. It it had changed. It definitely had changed, man. Ah, man. We'll never show this video to Dub because he would probably lose his mind. But yeah, we're gonna continue this best of returning re returns in each era. I know he has some more videos, so we're gonna you know check those out. I know you guys have been loving it, these videos these uh, this past week. So we're going to continue those. So make sure you hit the like button if you want me to continue continue this series. Also, comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite return from this era. Um, For me, personally, I want to say my favorite return from this particular era. In this video, of course, they didn't show everything. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. That RVD one definitely gave me goosebumps. The, the crowd, the the loudness, the, the craziness just to see RVD, just to see how many people love him in his element. I thought that was pretty cool, man. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite return from this video. Appreciate all love. Sport Road 2. CCK, appreciate y'all kicking to me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.